Welcome to Thermal Integration Made Easy, a video and download series that covers everything you need to know about integrating Teledyne FLIR thermal camera modules. Today, we're going to cover MIPI integration with the Boson and Boson Plus, and how this interface can help you integrate thermal into mobile devices, automotive platforms, and IoT solutions. There are many resources available to support integration at FLIR.com slash boson. Another great resource is our support center found at FLIR.com slash custhelp. Please note, all links will be included in the video description. Let's get started. What is MIPI? The Mobile Industry Processor Interface, or MIPI, is a versatile, high-speed interface for transmitting video from image sensors to application processors in remote devices such as smartphones, tablets, laptops, and automotive platforms. MIPI offers high performance, low power, and low EMI. The MIPI video channel consists of three differential pairs, a clock lane and two data lanes supporting two virtual channels of up to 16 bits of data. The channel utilizes 1.2 volt logic levels. The host supplied fixed MIPI DDR clock rate is 246 megahertz, either continuous or discontinuous. It follows MIPI standard image formats, but not all hardware supports the monochrome image format, so it's good to check compatibility with your system beforehand. Writing a MIPI driver is required for platforms without reference drivers available. Teledyne FLIR does not write custom drivers for every platform on the market today. Typically, writing MIPI or other drivers is not a quick or simple process and requires software engineers familiar with the platform and potentially need support from the SOC and platform vendor. The MIPI interface outputs data from all available tap points from the Boson interface. MIPI can be configured to output mono and colorized data at the same time using virtual channel 0 and 1 concurrently. MIPI, CMOS, and USB all use the same data types and output identical data. 16-bit image correction, radiometric processing, AGC, and zoom, and colorization are all contained within the colorized YCBCR output. Telemetry is available via normal extra lines in the image, also available via metadata stream. Telemetry carries status and diagnostic information to be processed by the integrated system. MIPI uniquely supports the metadata stream telemetry output. The MIPI state must be configured before turning on the video channel on the host. Changing MIPI configuration settings like pixel format or telemetry state require disabling the MIPI interface first and enabling it after the changes are made then the channel can be opened with the host. Typically, I2C is used with MIPI. The I2C interface has specific requirements for how packets are sent and received, unique to USB or UART. See the I2C app note for more information. I2C is standard on all Boson Plus models. The Boson GUI can be used to pre-configure the Boson for the host before connection if USB is connected to the Windows PC. This wraps up our episode on MIPI integration. For additional support, you can find more videos and application notes at fleer.com slash time or visit fleer.com slash custhelp for technical support. Be sure to tune into other episodes to learn more about Boson, Boson Plus, and other Teledyne FLIR thermal camera module integration. Please subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.